Hello everyone, this is case number 18 of MSK series. Today our case is 65, 65 year old patient presented with right knee joint pain, pain for 3 months duration. So this is the actor posterior radiograph of the right upper tibia and fibula including the knee joint in a skeletally mature patient. So the abnormalities around this region in the upper tibial metaphysis extend into epiphysis also it's kind of a mixed lesion mixed lesion it has lytic component and sclerotic component sclerotic component is mainly matrix calcification you can see calcification it's kind of a ring and knock type of calcification You can see ring and knock type of calcification here. Yeah. Ring and knock type of calcification. It's a kind of a permeative lesion. So, so it, which is a aggressive uh, feature of the lesion. This cortical breach, you can see and uh, possible soft tissue component in this region and it extends to the epiphysis and no pathological fractures articular surface of the knee joint is said to spared and knee joint is also normal fibula is normal so the diagnosis of this lesion is chondrosarcoma differential diagnosis are for this kind of lesion this is unique for this chondrosarcoma if there is no cortical breach then you have to think of bone infarct then end chondroma This lesion is definitely aggressive, so it is definitely chondrosarcoma. Sometimes there are popcorn like calcifications. Here you can see ring and knock. Popcorn calcifications can also occur. Chondrosarcoma usually occur between 30 to 70 years of age. And uh, usually metaphysial lesions. And uh, they can be either primary or secondary primary or secondary secondary ones there are conventional intramedullary chondrosarcomas that's the most common one then just a cortical chondrosarcoma another entity clear cell chondrosarcoma another one is called myxoid chondrosarcoma then the mesenchymal extraskeletal dedifferentiated so like that there are several types of primary chondrosarcomas secondary ones uh, due to underlying other pathology uh, like osteochondroma especially in hereditary multiple exostosis or in chondroma diseases like uh, Olia or Mafuchi syndrome. So that concludes case number 18. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you will get notifications early. Then the 
you can comment on our videos also thank you